Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here. We're in the workshop with the Rover 75. Dad is doing some exciting mechanicing work over there, is what you can hear in the background. It's part three of working on the head gasket on the Rover 75. If you haven't seen that video on the channel from a couple of days ago, effectively we took the head off and we found the leak immediately. The gasket was totally rotten, no good. Uh, in this video, we're going to clean the block, we're going to clean the head, we're going to do some more detective work on there to make sure that it was just that rotten head gasket that's caused us all the problems. Um, it could be that we find other issues, liner height issues, issues with the pistons, um, the valves, etc, etc. We're going to have a look at that. That's part three. Stay with it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch, I don't know, wiper blades that we don't find anything crazy. Hello. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm busy, I'm thinking what I'm doing, so <laughs> shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> You're using a turkey baster on this head, what are you doing? I'm checking to see the valves, my old mates. I'm thinking what I'm doing. You watch if you want to Rover see. 75, Inspector. I'm thinking what I'm doing. Hello. So what is it you're adding to the, the top of the block there? It's a head and it's white spirit. Oh. So you're putting that in the... Just to see if that valve's leaking much. Oh, I see. That one's not, but that one's just got a bit of leakage down it. Just a little bit there. Right. So you're using a, a turkey baster to put some white spirit in it's there. It's just so I don't slap it all over and confuse myself, yep. yeah. Or having some dip with his camera get in the way and make me spill it. <laughs> and if it was leaking, it'd come out here like this one here, look. Okay, good. So I'm not putting that together with him like that. So you've done your white spirit test, what you found? Valves are leaking, mate, some of them. How many? Well, Two, three? I've given up now. That ain't like valves leaking. And that exhaust valve's leaking. So that'll be new valves? No. No? I don't think so. Just relapping them in? Take them out and clean them and put them together. It's just another yeah. blinking year's work. <laughs> Is it quite a big job, that? Well, it's fairly time consuming, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Valves are leaking too. Well, we knew they were, didn't we, from the cylinder leakage test? Yeah. You did say you wanted to lap some new valves in. Yeah, I know. I've got some other projects on there, haven't I? What do I do? Right. What you need to do then is take that doggy for his dinners. Yes. It's dinner time for the inspector. Din dins? Dinner time? Dinner? Get her upset. Yes. <laughs> din dins? Din dins? Don't get her all upset. <laughs> Come on then. Right, so uh, shopping list time again. Let's have a look. So we, we have made a list of things we need. Coolant, water pump, timing belt kit, thermistor, elastomer head gasket, valve removal tool, uh, belts, all sorts of stuff. No belts are all right. Belts oh, are fine. the timing belt, don't you? So we're going to get some bits. That's the next port of call, really, isn't it? Bits. What have you, what have you got there? What are you doing there? It's a cylinder head. Are you taking the, uh, what are you doing, are you taking the I'm going to take the cylinder out? head bits, yeah. So we've yeah. discovered, or you've discovered, that the valves are leaking. Yeah. So you need to take this apart. I'm not going to put it together without doing them. Blow it. I'm going to do all of them. Yeah. I jolly well am. It's not worth doing half a job. I'm not going to do half a job, mate. I've decided. Take the bull by the horns and I can lock myself in here at nights. <laughs> <laughs> Away from the cameras. Well, I've got somebody with a camera poked in my face and do the job. No, no, I'm going to leave you a... Do, do, the, do the men's work. I'm going to leave you a GoPro mounted <laughs> here. <laughs> do the men's work. I, I, I don't think you can say that. I'm sure there's plenty of female mechanics. I didn't say, I didn't say what sex they are, men or boys. <laughs> <laughs> men or boys. Come out the road, boy. Oh my God. There's a boy in the way now, there is. <laughs> there's a blooming boy in the way with his blinking telephone. So you're going to take this apart? I'm going to take your phones off you until, until home time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're going to do with you boys with your phones. 
absolutely tight. Wowza. You made it lift off the bench then. Everything's flipping tight, son. It shouldn't be so tight is what you're saying. So you've just taken a plate off there. It's, it's even bloody rusty in there. Let's have a look. Can you see? Oh yeah. It's strange, isn't it? Why would there be rust in this engine? But yeah, it's like the head gasket's rusted away, isn't it? It's strange. I reckon his coolant's blooming more like blooming battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using brick acid as coolant. It, it, it. Now then, there's a joke. Do you reckon? You never know, dear, whether they've been trying to clean stuff out. You, you never know, dear, what folks have done. You're never blinking well now. It's just, just, a, just interesting thoughts. What's been it? put through the system to try and clear the heater matrix? <laughs> That's just, you know, how do I put it? Out of the mouth of babes and that, isn't it? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying, Gromit? This is some proper spannering, isn't it? It's not something I could do in my shed in an afternoon, this. Is this, are we getting into professional territory? <laughs> No. Is this still a DIY job? Yeah. And all these bolts are taken out. Can they be reused? Yes, mate. Well, you can get one of these wrong, and next thing you know, your mate at the next bench says, that sounds like you're undoing it again. <laughs> <laughs> so you work on these on benches like this. You don't do it on the car. Take it off. Yeah, if you're changing the valve stem seals with the head still on, you'd do it on the car. But that's a whole new, another different kettle of fish, that is. That's a whole different kettle of fish. A whole new can of worms. So you're taking off, are they brackets that hold? No, it's all one big casting. Oh, right. In it. Just being careful to ease it off a bit at a time, like you would the head. And does that then remove all the cams, does it? All two of them, yeah, yes. You'll see in a minute. We'll get all the boats out. a bit. A large person. So you've taken all these bolts out of here. Go back where you was, dude. <laughs> it's a large person there. Large person in the way. A large person there. No, I'm just being careful so I don't break anything. I'm just getting that eased off. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. So this is the front of the engine, gun yep. belt end. Yep.
There are the cams. See them? Red seals go at the rear. So they're, they're colour coded, are they? So black yeah. at the front, red at the back. Are they different spec or is it just. No idea, mate, no idea. But I did notice one of them packets you've got, they're both the same colour nearly. But ah. Sometimes they're sort of a brownie colour. So let's take a look at the cams. The cams look alright, don't they? There's no damage there. And these are the cam followers, the hydraulic lifters. Just making sure that none's been stuck and worn in the same place. What are you looking for here? And then you've got a groove. I'm not expecting to find one. You're looking for a mark. You can see they've been turning. They're supposed to turn, look, so they don't wear in the same place. Yep. And you can see they've been turning. Can you see? Yes, mm, they've got like roundy a roundy, mark. roundy mark on them. Yeah, so when the cam goes round, it turns them a bit. So they don't always wear in the same place. This, this to me, looks like it's never been mm, opened. I don't think it has. So That's this is... Point. What's that? What are you looking at? We want this, don't we? Something like that. What's that? Sealant? Um, yeah. Okay. Anaerobic sealant. Okay. Goes off. They are there. Yeah, good man. I don't think I've got some... Uh, What's that? MG Rover? What? Mm. Gasket sealant. This is the stuff we always use. Oh, right, yeah. We well, can get something like that one. I like no, it's not that, it's not that. I like the unipart bin as well. That's no, it's... Uh, we want some sealant anyway. I don't think I've got any now. That's him. That's what we want. Some of that? Yeah. Or something similar. That's what we want. Right, I'm not taking them out until I've had my dinner because I want to put them so I can put them back in the same place where I come from. So I just have to have a, an organise. Let's have them plugs out while we're then we'll go for dinner. While you're having your dinner, I'm going to do some shopping. Yeah, well, we need to look on the internet, don't we? <laughs> we need to look on the internet. I was looking on the internet mm. and found this. Good. What was that? <laughs> I think that was Jeremy Clarkson's old phrase, wasn't it? I don't know, mate. I was looking on the internet this week and it's saw this. A firm. I saw a firm and bought it. I saw a farm and bought it. Are you it. taking my spark plugs out? I am, I yes. put them in with my own fair hands. You really well did. You did a good job on it as well. You did I a job. You get stuck. It's all right, I just ain't got no to get it down. I'm not stressing. It's only a flipping. It's just that there's, I didn't have a plug socket to take them out with. I just then... It's just that... Five eight socket. There we go. Good mm -hmm. stuff. We've been mugs not to do this. What well, right. the valves? Just I've seen them leaking. We'll see all sorts of horrors now. Right, that's it. Dinner time. Dinner time. Not What's me. for dinner? No, oh, I've no idea yet. <laughs> Sardines on toast. And the appetite's still a bit killed. Oh, they literally just lift out like that. Yeah. Uh, oh. But I've got to get my collets out. Will they have them stored away soon? Do they go back in a specific order? Well, I shall, I shall do, mate, yeah. I shall just sling them in a big heap. And I'm guessing they'll, they go back in the same slot they came out of. That's what I should be planning on doing. Because they've made their own little, I don't know, house in there over the past 24 years, haven't they? The, that's it, they've got, they've, got, they've got happy where they are, a bit like me, really. <laughs> happy in your shed. Oh, no. Happy riding motorbikes. 
Yeah, we'll have these stored in a uh, storage area. You've made that look easy, look. We'll identify them. And then we can have the valves done then. Be mad not to do it. So that. what's this in here now then? That's the valve, is it? Well, there's the end of the valve. The end of the valve. Those the little collets that hold yes. the valve and there's the top bit. Yeah. So why have we had to take this off to get to the bottom of the valve? Do we have to... You've got to take them out now to get Take the them out there. to get them out from the other side. Yes, mate. It's ever so pretty. Pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? It's pretty, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this has ever been to bits. No. Uh, How do you tell? It looks like the original sealant, to be honest with you. I can't see any scrap marks where somebody's cleaned it off. There's no doubt. Probably half on it is it's been puddled around that much. The valves are a bit carboned up. Right, let's call that it. Dinner time. Yeah, mate. How was lunch? Um, I ain't finished yet. I'm still having my lunch. Oh, yeah? I've just got sidetracked by doing some mechanicing while there's nobody talking to me. Ah. So what are you doing now? Just putting these bits? I am, mate. I'm just putting them there, yeah. It's on the side. Oh, I've just got somebody... ...not blinking... Uh, ...talking to me. And then I'm going to go finish my lunch. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> struggling with crap scratch bright. Oh, really? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Clean the... Uh... Yeah. Clean this head off. So I've been in the house and oh, yep. I've been trying to fix Mum's computer uh, because that's my forte, fixing the computer and you're fixing cars. Am I switched on? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. That's good then, as long as you can hear me. Uh, I've taken my shopping list and I've bought a few of these bits. I've bought a water pump, I've bought a timing you belt kit, kit, and I've bought a thermistor, and I've bought a valve tool. So actually on the internet, I found myself a OE quality water pump, a Deco timing belt. Yeah, has it got a tensioner? And a timing belt tensioner, also Deco. Yeah, right. Uh, so the water pump, the timing belt kit came to 60 quid, delivered. Um, the thermistor, I bought a new thermistor. Again, OE quality, 7.99. Valve tool, I bought you one of them. Good. Uh, 30 good quid that was, the valve no, no, tool. It was less than that. Well, £29. Pounds. It was, though, it was 30 quid. Oh, God, yeah. 30 quid. Um, and the head gasket, now I'm still uh, trying to source one because that's the important bit. It is. Um, and I'm trying to find just the actual gasket itself. It's difficult to find. Um, I'm looking at Payen at the moment. Yeah, some of them 75 experts out there will tell you where they get theirs from. Yeah, absolutely. We don't need the whole kit, so we just need a head gasket. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, so you're using Scotch Bright, I can see here, to clean this head up. You can see previously where it's been done with, as you say, it's been scratted, sandpaper. It? it has. Um, oh, I need to buy some of this as well, don't I? Uh, yes, Sealant. You do. Need to buy some of that. Well, I don't know whether you'll buy that worth stuff, but there'll be something the same. If you listen to them, it's called anaerobic surface sealant. Anaerobic yeah. surface sealant. Probably like the proper stuff, right there. But we used to get it in little tubs from the stores, but then we got fed up of using these little tubs from the stores, which didn't last five minutes, so we used to get that stuff off worth. But I don't think you'd be wanting to buy that off worth. Is it expensive, you reckon? I should, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a bit like snap on for blooming sealant. Oh, I understand. Um, when I came out here off camera, you told me something about the valves. What have you discovered? Have I discovered something? Well, I knew the valves was leaking a bit, didn't we? Yeah. But the valve stem seals are really sloppy. Yeah, we're not wasting our time. Yeah. yeah. And that's the inlets are the worst, I think. But the valve stem seals aren't very good. Okay, so yeah, as you say, not we're wasting not, our time. We're not wasting our time. Fine, then. that's fine. Especially since we found them valves leaking. Yeah. It's almost a, an engine rebuild. It's called a decoke. In the old days, you'd call it a decoke. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get there. We'll do it. We will. <laughs> you will do it. So, things left to do then, uh, from this part of the perspective, is clean off the block in here. Then check the line of protrusion. Check the line of protru protrusion. Clean off the head. 
Take the valves out. Check the head for warpage. Check the head for warpage. And then hopefully put it all back together, right? I think really I ought to stand, stand, leave you in here for a few hours to clean all this up mm. while I go riding my motorbike. You can do that if you want, that's not a problem at all. Okay, good. Um, so apart from that, we're pretty shafted until we get the stuff come through, aren't we? Uh, until we've uh, had our shopping delivered. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow uh, or the next start, couple of days. We better start scratching tonight then. <laughs> We better start scratching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video update, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know how you would uh, have tackled this. Also, uh, shout out in the comments for Dad, who is an absolute legend. Oh, you'll be busy there, won't you? Eh? You will, son. <laughs> have a great day. Don't forget to like the video if you have liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. More head gasket updates to come. Take care, goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.